Today, we're going to talk about a simple code-saving feature introduced in ES2015. Object shorthand allows you to reference and even manipulate object properties with less tedious repetition. Simply put, object shorthand lets you do away with key value pairs when duplicating them, and just use the key instead. As we often do, let's start with an ES5 example. If you've spent any time working with objects in JavaScript, you'll probably recognize this code. Let's go ahead and save that. Log it. There we go. That's kind of annoying, right? Having to repeat oneself for each property? Well, good news, you don't have to do that anymore. Observe this code. Let's check that out. Perfect. ES2015 parsers are smart enough to look for existing variables that match the properties in the object you're constructing and fill them in appropriately. This isn't going to save you hundreds of lines of code, probably, but it makes things a little more neat and readable, which helps keep code maintainable. You have to be careful, though. If there's no matching variable already declared, this could cause a problem. Let's say, for example, we wanted to change name to first name in our final object. We can't just do this, because first name isn't an existing variable. So we still have to write both the key and the value in that case, like this. Okay, let's take a look at that. As expected. Object shorthand also works really well with variable destructuring, allowing us to just pass the key to, for example, a for each function instead of explicitly having to say key value for each key. Here's an example. That should give us five lines in the console. Let's take a look. There we go. And here's the old redundant ES5 way just for comparison. As is often the case with ES2015 features, the new syntax reduces code length while simultaneously improving readability. That's the good stuff. I strongly recommend adding object shorthand to your JavaScript toolbox. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't seen Annihilation yet, I definitely recommend trying to catch it before it leaves theaters. It's not perfect, but it's smart, weird, and gets your heart pounding. See you next week.